Okay. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> do you want to record? Do you want to record? Chase doesn't like me talking over anyways. It's because he always has a camera like two inches from my nose. Just like right now. So obviously everything did not go as planned today, but right, I mean, yeah. still though, fourth place finish. You have the little championship standard, but I mean, how do you come out of this meet, this the reflection of it? Yeah, you know, I feel fine because I have the bye, so you know, you, you kind of go in like not stressing, mm -hmm. but I'm working through a lot of technical stuff. I haven't seen my coach in weeks. I'm having like a bit of a family thing right now. Mm -hmm. So it's just like kind of trying to work through some mental barriers. But like, I feel fine. Like I think by worlds, I know I'll be ready because I'm, I'm just about to go home and just train with my coach. Got like a month and a half and I'm just gonna dig down and train with my coach and, and get my technical changes sorted and I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I've just been traveling too much. I'm ready to go home and train it out for worlds. From a te technicality standpoint, what's something you're gonna try to work on just to get better, I guess? Yeah, you know, I, I'm just, I'm moving a bit slow. Everything's a bit, everything's a bit weighed down. So I just, I gotta, get back to moving that was something I did consistently last year was movement but I knew I had the buy so I chose this year to make some technical changes leading into Paris and I knew I would take a hit for it and I'm okay with that because I I've been you know I've been focused on Paris and having to buy to Budapest meant that I could make some difficult decisions this year and that's kind of was the plan so it, it sucks but like I knew it was happening so I'm not as bummed